and very warm welcome. Dear students, today I will be talking about the types of female gametophyte or embryo sac in angiosperms. The plant life cycle is characterized by alternation of generation between a diploid sporophyte and a haploid gametophyte. The sporophyte functions to produce spores which then develop into gametophytes. Differentiated gametophytes in turn produce either the male gametes or female gametes. In contrast to lower plant species in which the gametophyte is the dominant free living generation, gametophytes of angiosperms are smaller and less complex than the sporophyte and are formed within specialized organs of the flower. In angiosperms, the male gametophyte or the pollen grains develop within the anthers and the female gametophytes or the mega gametophytes or embryo sacs develop within the ovule. Strasburger in 1879 was the first person to describe the female gametophyte in angiosperms. The process of development of female gametophyte can be divided into two stages called mega sporogenesis and mega gametogenesis. In general, during mega sporogenesis, the mega sporocyte undergoes meiosis and four mega spore nuclei are produced. Subsequent mitotic divisions, nuclear migration, and cytokinesis during mega gametogenesis produce the mature embryo sac. Considerable diversity in the pattern of embryo sac development is found among plant species. However, in most flowering plants, the embryo sac has a characteristic organization called the polygonum type, containing seven cells of four distinct cell types. Depending on the number of megaspore nuclei taking part in the development, the female gametophytes of angiosperms may be classified into three main types called the monosporic, bisporic and tetrasporic embryo sacs. Each type of embryo sac has more than one subtype named after the genus in which it was described first. Figure shows a small representative sample of each of the modes of embryo sac development that have been observed. Now let us discuss the monosporic type of embryo sac. In this type only one out of the four megaspores take part in the development of embryo sac. All the nuclei in such an embryo sac are genetically identical because they are derived through mitosis of the single nucleus. There are two types of monosporic embryo sacs. One is the polygonum type. The embryo sac in the polygonum type is formed by the clausal megaspore of the tetrad and is eight nucleate. The mature embryo sac comprises a three celled egg apparatus, three antipodals, and a binucleate central cell. This monosporic eight nucleate embryo sac formed by three divisions of the functioning megaspore occurs in more than 70 percent of the angiosperms. The enlargement of the megaspore is always accompanied by increased vacuolation, one large vacuole usually appearing on either side of the nucleus in the direction of the long axis of the cell. After the first division has taken place, the two daughter nuclei move apart to opposite poles. Most of the cytoplasm is aggregated around them and the rest forms a thin peripheral layer, the center being occupied by a large vacuole. The next division gives rise to a four nucleate stage which is followed by the eight nucleate stage comprising a micropylar and a clausal quartet. Of the eight nuclei arising in this manner, three at the micropylar end give rise to egg and two synergids. Three at the clausal end give rise to antipodal cells, two and the remaining two, one from each pole fuse in the center to form a secondary nucleus. 
Occasionally, embryo sacs are found with less than the normal quota of 8 nuclei. This is usually because of an early degradation of the antipodals which obscures the true nature of embryo sac. Even when antipodals are present, they are sometimes overlooked because of their being situated in the narrow colossal end of the embryo sac which is seen only in median sections. The second type of the monosporic embryo sac is oinothera type. The organization of mature embryo sac in the oinothera type is an egg apparatus and a uninuclear central cell. Gates in 1908 found that in oinothera lamarckiana the embryo sac is usually formed by the micropylar megaspore of the tetrad which undergoes only two nuclear divisions instead of the usual three occurring in polygonum type of embryo sac. In this way, four nuclei are produced which organize into two synergids, the egg and a single polar nucleus. Since the third division is omitted and all the nuclei are situated in the micropylar part of the developing embryo sac, there is neither a lower polar nucleus nor any antipodal cells. Modulski in 1908 independently studied species of Oinothera, Epilobium and Circaia and confirmed the observations of Geats in all essential respects. These two investigations were soon followed by several others and this mode of development known as Oinothera type has been found to be a characteristic and constant feature of the entire family Onagraceae having been demonstrated in more than 16 genera. The only exception is Tropa which has an 8 nucleate embryo sac of the polygonum type but this genus as most systematists now agree is best assigned to a separate family the Hydrocariaceae or Trapaceae. A noteworthy feature in the development of oinothera type of embryo sac is the concurrent growth of more than one cell of the tetrad. Eventually, it is the micropylar megaspore which functions but sometimes it may be the colossal and occasionally both grow simultaneously forming twin megaspore embryo sacs. Now let us discuss bisporic embryo sac. In this type, two megaspore nuclei take part in embryo sac formation. Here the first meiotic division is followed by wall formation so that a diode is formed. Only one of the diode cells undergoes the second meiotic division whereas the other one degenerates. In the functional diode cell wall formation does not occur after the second division and both the megaspore nuclei contribute to the formation of embryo sac. Each megaspore nucleus undergoes two mitotic divisions forming eight nuclei. The final organization of the embryo sac is similar to the polygonum type. Bisporic embryo sac is again of two types. First the alien type. The embryo sac in the alien type is derived from the colossal diet. A bisporic embryo sac was first described in alien fistulosum by Strasberger in 1879 and has since been confirmed in several species of the genus. The megaspore mother cell divides to form two diode cells of which the upper is much smaller and soon degenerates. The nucleus of the lower divides to form two and then eight nuclei which give rise to an embryo sac with the usual organization. The second type of bisporic embryo sac is endymion type. The embryo sac is formed by micropylar diet. This type was first described in endymion 
Hispanicus. In this type, megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis 1, forming a dyad. The micropylar dyad cell is functional while the clausal dyad cell degenerates. Its nucleus divides to form 2, 4 and finally 8 nucleate embryo sac comprising egg, 2 synergids, 2 polars and 3 antipodals. A different type of development has been observed in amoebium alatum of the family compositi. Here the first meiotic division is not followed by wall formation and the dyad cell is represented by a single binucleate cell. Both the nuclei undergo the second meiotic division simultaneously and the daughter nuclei take up a 2 plus 2 position at the telophase and their persistent spindles form a joint structure stretching from one pair of the nuclei to the other. Cell plate formation is initiated across the equator of the united spindles which then extends to the lateral walls so that each of the cell of the dyad is binucleate. A spatial situation occurs in Schisandra chinensis. In some of the ovules, the development of female gametophyte is bisporic, but the final organization of the embryo sac is as seen in Oenothera. This is the only authentic report of a bisporic four nucleate embryo sac. Now, let us discuss the most common tetrasporic embryo sacs. In this type of embryo sac, both the meiotic divisions are not accompanied by cell plate formation, hence all the four haploid nuclei at the end of meiosis are enclosed in a common cytoplasm forming a cenomegaspore. As all the megaspore nuclei take part in formation of embryo sac, a tetrasporic embryo sac is more heterogeneous than a bisporic embryo sac because the four products of meiosis involved in the in its formation are genetically different. Much variability has been observed in the nuclear behavior of the tetrasporic embryo sacs. Based on the number of postmeiotic mitoses, the number of groups of nuclei in the mature gametophyte and the presence or absence of nuclear fusion during the development, Maheshwari recognized seven principal types of tetrasporic embryo sacs namely Adoxa, Peperomia, Penia, Drusa, Fritillaria, Plumbagula, and Plumbago. The arrangement of the four nuclei in the cenomegaspore before the beginning of postmeiotic mitosis is of three types. First, 2 plus 2 arrangement. Two nuclei at the micropylar end and two at the clausal end, for example, a doxa type. Second, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 arrangement, 1 nucleus at the micropylar end, 1 at the clausal end and 2 placed laterally, 1 on each side. For example, pinea type, plumbago type, papyrus type. Third is the 1 plus 3 arrangement, 1 nucleus at the micropylar end and 3 at the clausal end. For example, Drusa type, Fritillaria type, Plumbagula type. Depending on whether nuclear fusion occurs or not, number of postmeiotic mitosis in the cenomegaspore and final organization of embryo sac, tetrasporic embryo sacs are of many types. Now, the first is the non nuclear fusion, where the non nuclear fusion occurs. First is a doxa type. It was described for the first time by Johnson in 1979-1980 in Adoxa moschatilina. There are only five genera in which this type of embryo sac development is more or less regular feature. Adoxa, Sambucus and some species of Erythromium, Tulipa and Ulmus. In this type of embryo sac development, the nuclei of the cenomegaspore take up 2 plus 2 arrangement. All the nuclei of the cenomegaspore undergo just one more division to form an 8 nucleate embryo sac. The mature 
female gametophyte has normal egg apparatus, three antipodals and two polar nuclei. An interesting variation was reported in some species of tulipa. In tulipa sylvestris, vacuolation frequently commences at the megaspore mother cell stage and all the four megaspore nuclei gather at the micropylar end of the cell where they divide to give rise to group of six cells, one of which is an egg and two nuclei. Tulipa tetraphyla show almost a similar type of development. After the meiotic divisions are over, three nuclei go to the micropylar pole and one of the to the clausal pole due to the formation of vacuole. All of them divide again so that there are six daughter nuclei in the upper part of the embryo and two in the lower. Cell plate laid down later resulting in the formation of five cells at the micropylar end one of these is egg and one cell at the clausal end leaving two free nuclei in the center. Since this particular mode of development occurs only in Aristimones section of genus Tulipa, it is known as Aristimones form of Adoxa type. Dear students, till now we have studied the various types of embryo sacs or female gametophyte which were mainly of three types the mono, bi or tetrasporic embryo sacs. The monosporic embryo sacs were further divided into two types, the bisporic were further divided into two types and the tetrasporic embryo sacs were further divided into seven major types. We have reached a doxa type. In our next topic, we will study Peperomia, Pinia, Drusa, Fritillaria, Plumbagula and Plumbago. Hope you enjoyed the topic. Thank you.